I think there are a lot of structural problems with the idea of Medicare for all that are masked by the slogan. And Bob makes the excellent point that it sounds like a great principle, especially when you don't say that it costs anything. But as soon as you start to dig beneath the surface to say, what do we mean by Medicare for all? What's the role of government setting prices and constraining the quantity of care that you can get, which services which people can get? What's the role of the private sector and competition and driving innovation? As soon as you start to pull back those layers, I think there's much less agreement among the general public. And one of the challenges is that we live in a world of scarce resources. There are budget constraints. And I think that's the same reason that people would like the answer to be our healthcare spending is high solely because of prices and prices are just too high. If we could all get exactly the same amount of care that we're getting now and pay less, that sounds lovely. We would all live equally long and have more money for other things. But I think that that's not really feasible without having a serious conversation about you know, restricting who gets access to what care and Medicare for all surely involves someone deciding what list of services are folks eligible for and what list are they not. And as soon as you bring that to the surface, I think it becomes much less palatable for people.